There's been some talk over the last few days about various politicians attending the National Conservatism Conference and whether they should be encouraged not to go. Uh, so far, nothing has been done to stop Suella Braverman attending. And today, within the last half an hour, apparently, this conference, which is being attended also by the right-wing Hungarian um, person, uh, Viktor Orban and others is being closed down. Officers arrived at the event um, at the Claridge venue in central Brussels to tell the organisers that they should shut it. So Farage and Suella Bradman, if they've already made the trip over to Brussels, have made the trip in vain. And they were, a lot, they were among the political uh, characters who were going to address the meeting. And the conference apparently, uh, it, it had already moved location twice, and now it's being closed down altogether. The mayor of the area, uh, Emir Kier, has said, I issued an order from the mayor to ban the National Conservatism Conference event in order to guarantee public safety. In Etabik, Brussels history, uh, Bus Brussels history a uh, city, and in San Jose, the far right is not welcome. Uh, and um, the conference organizers have said they would be launching a legal challenge, saying there's no public disturbance, no grounds to shut down a gathering of politicians, intellectuals, journalists, students, civic leaders, and concerned citizens. Uh, the police entered the venue on our invitation, saw the proceedings, the press corps, and quickly withdrew. Is it possible they witnessed how peaceful the event is. Um, and uh, the, uh, the, the video, which has been posted on social media, has been branded by Nigel Farage as something from the old Soviet Union. Um, he said, at the meeting over the next two days, we've got the Prime Minister of Hungary, you've got a bishop, you've got members of the European royal families coming, well-known international businessmen and women, politicians, leaders of parties that will win European elections in countries this year in June. And yet, because they are questioning ever closer union, because they are questioning globalism, they are literally being shut down. And Braverman uh, has said that the political will to leave the European Convention on Human Rights is there, uh, certainly for Britain. She said that it's a profoundly undemocratic and politicized organization. Um, she has said that the UK could leave the convention at the stroke of a pen with the Prime Minister sending a letter giving six months' notice to the Council of Europe. Well, six months' notice, of course, would coincide with a British general election, which means that we wouldn't, in fact, have left the European Court of Human Rights before a Labour Party got into power to change all that. And um, and, and meanwhile, uh, Viktor Orban, who is an ally of President Putin, um, demonstrates his, his credentials by cracking down on gay rights and press freedom. So whatever whatever positives in terms of debate, in terms of practice, uh, this is a conference which is being paraded by people whose commitment to free speech is far from clear. They're, 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 they're committed to a particular agenda and I don't think they can defend their meeting on grounds of free speech when they are denying other people free speech simply because they have power.